Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your August reading. Well, end of July, moving into August reading. So we're gonna include a little bit of this last week here, but apologies for the delay. I've been out for the last couple of weeks just recovering from um, sickness and a sore throat. So I truly appreciate your patience. I've missed you guys. Um, but Sagittarius, as always, you guys know I love reading down below where you're currently tuning in from or where you proudly represent the city, state, or country if you feel you know comfortable sharing. If maybe not your location, I love seeing what you guys are doing as you're multitasking because as my fire signs, you guys are always grinding. You're always doing something else in the background, whether you're cooking, cleaning, organizing, maybe you're working on your little hobby on the desk, you guys are always doing something. Scrolling <laughs> on the computer when you're supposed to be working. Sagittarius, let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Let's see what's coming in for you. I feel like August is gonna be a big shift for a lot of my signs, uh, especially my fire signs. And yeah, I just, you know, during my meditation for my fire signs, especially for you, Sagittarius, and for Leo, I felt this energy of like breaking free you know like it was like a breakthrough like breaking three three ooh, three breaking free past boundaries limitations but i also feel like breaking away from like negativity because I, I i was envisioning like a thread but the thread was being like cut and separating splitting ways or splitting ties maybe that's what that represents like splitting of ties <clears throat> so we'll see Ooh, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. So we're starting off strong. We have nine of pentacles, knight of wands, ace of wands, queen of cups, and we're looking at the two of wands coming in here. Nine of pentacles is all about abundance. This is also luxury. This is pampering. Oh, that card just slid over. Let's see what this is all about, Sagittarius, for you. Ooh. So the Nine of Pentacles paired with the Two of Cups. Moving into August, it looks like you're going to be wined and dined. Wined and dined. Maybe you're the whining and dining doing it. But I feel like this is you experiencing it. Maybe this is your anniversary. Maybe this is your partner's <clears throat> birthday. You're like, this, this feels like a very celebratory energy. They are treating you. You are treating them. You guys are enjoying each other's company. Now, for those that are maybe single or looking for new love, perhaps you are just dating, this is also someone that like matches you. You guys like the finer things in life. That's one thing about my fire signs. You and I would say my earth signs. You guys love the finer things in life. Not to say you're materialistic, but I mean, you enjoy, you know, a nice dinner, a nice bottle of wine. You enjoy like a nice vacation, a spa date, uh, perhaps, you know, nice outfits. My fire signs, you guys dress very, very well. Um, you carry yourself very well. You're very attractive too. I think you attract a lot of attention by the way you carry your, your style or the way like you carry your um, your presentation. You know, maybe the perfume or the cologne you wear, the way you do your hair, the way you present yourself, your mannerisms, it attracts a lot of attention. So I feel attention is coming your way here in August, but also you enjoying the company um, and the other person enjoying your company in the highest form I see you being, um, yeah, like you being taken care of. You are being taken care of. People are going to, now this doesn't only have to be in a romantic sense. This could also represent like strong friendship or divine connection. So you encountering people that want to extend something that you are open to receive. Mentorship, friendship, guidance. This could be friendship, okay? This could be community. But the Nine of Pentacles is saying like, don't worry, okay? You're gonna be treated very well in August. You are going to find that you're gonna be taken care of. Your needs will be met. Your physical needs will be met, Sagittarius. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. This, this almost feels like a balance too. Like you're gonna experience some type of balance could be emotional balance. Someone gives just as much as you are giving. 
Because there's nothing worse than being in a relationship or friendship where you're always the giver and the other person's always the taker. It's unbalanced. But here we see that there's a balance. Whoever you are encountering or the situation that you're going to experience that's going to elevate you, you're going to know it's it's uh, equal. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So we have Knight of Wands with the King of Wands. Interesting. <clears throat> I, this energy feels very being that this is looking this way I would not be surprised Sagittarius if you're pursuing someone <laughs> are you pursuing a water sign by chance <laughs> maybe you're pursuing a, a water sign a Pisces okay for some reason my Pisces they're always connected to a fire sign uh, or my fire signs are always connected to a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio or maybe it's like first attraction um, or it could be earth okay maybe you find yourself drawn to a Virgo, Capricorn, hmm, Taurus. I feel like there's something, let me see, let me dive a little deeper. What is this all about for Sagittarius? I feel like there's something more to this. The Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Oh my gosh. We have the Knight of Wands, but it came kind of like in reverse. Hmm. This may be you, Sagittarius. You're very eager to pursue something. Something definitely is catching your attention. Okay, something is catching your attention where you've been on this pursuit for a while but like you want this to be finalized like you want to settle with this now it could be a person again okay it could be a person maybe you're pursuing a person maybe you're pursuing a client business connection um maybe you're pursuing abundance love relationships some some something here showing like you are a, like I don't want to say you're playing the field, but the Knight of Wands, they are exploring options. So somewhere here, Sagittarius, you are exploring all of your options, but you eventually do want to settle down. Maybe you're looking for a lot of jobs because the, the wand energy is also career, um, jobs, but this is also a passion. So maybe love, a hobby, something here that you're doing, <clears throat> you're going through a lot of like hoops and loops and you're like, okay, because the knight is always on the journey, on the trail. But you're also open to adapt. You're eager to learn, to explore. So somewhere here, you are exploring options, kind of, um, you know, traveling around, experimenting, but eventually you do want to settle. You do want to settle down and kind of like lay your foot down. So perhaps you've experienced bouncing around jobs, positions. Maybe you started a couple of businesses. Maybe you have just relocated to different places. You're traveling. Maybe you're apartment hunting or house hunting. You're like, okay, testing out different neighborhoods. But eventually there is this feeling where you do want to settle down. <clears throat> you do want to come into connection with this balance. But you also want to make sure that where you settle down, you're going to thrive course naturally right you want to be set up for success so in august i do see that like the hunt is going to like end you are going to come across something that you've been looking for you're going to be met with your match hmm some of you too i'm also saying that you are tired of being played around there could be someone in your life that's kind of stringing you along Right? They're playing games. They're playing games with you. And you're like, no, I don't want to play games. I'm serious about, you know, what it, whatever it is that you're dealing with. <clears throat> Someone's maybe giving you the runaround. Let's take a look at this Ace of Wands. Oh, the Ace of Wands has the tower as the clarifier very fascinating let me pull another card here because this is showing that breaking free will lead you to a breakthrough your breakthrough will happen once you have broken free isn't that interesting and that's exactly what i was sensed in the beginning of the message remember sagittarius i was saying like i had this vision of 
some type of barrier being like broken down or being released or separated. And look, these people are being separated from some type of foundation that they were attached to, but they're meant to like be ejected out and move on. Start new, explore new terrain, come into new contact for higher and better growth, a better future, better connection. Like, oh, okay, let's let's take a deep dive. I, I'm I'm nosy here. What is this? What is this tower and ace of wands for Sagittarius? Let's see. Let's get a closer look. Hmm. What do we need to know about this for Sagittarius? Moving in August 2024. What is this? Ace of Wands and Tower. Okay, hold on. These three. Oh, no, those four. Is it five? Okay. <clears throat> okay, wow. Another Ace. So we have Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. The Magician, oh wow, okay, this is very interesting. The Chariot, oh, and the Seven of Swords, but it's in reverse. So I'll read this in reverse, but it showed up like this. Interesting. Wow. It's like the universe is setting you up for like a higher purpose. There's, there's a big transformative shift happening definitely here for you, Sagittarius. For a collective group of you, I mean, you're being handed a big opportunity that's going to put you in a position, not of only power, but of some form of like stability, comfort. The Queen of Pentacles, she represents being well taken care of, okay? She's not stressed, she's blessed, just like the Nine of Pentacles. Bills are paid, she's comfortable, she has a roof over her head, she has friendships, connections, she has her dog, her loved ones, she has nature, right? So the Queen of Pentacles, she represents support, nourishment. She's that divine feminine energy where she is surrounded by love, but she also radiates love. So somewhere here, like this opportunity is going to put you in a position where you're gonna love what's coming, but you're gonna be taken care of. You're gonna be experiencing like your reality changing. Whether you change, your circumstances are changing, the resources that you are using combined together will change the outcome and propel you forward, push you forward. The Seven of Swords, being that we saw this in reverse, it's, it's almost like you don't have to... Um, I keep... It's like I'm seeing like you don't have to hide or you don't have to be afraid you don't have to sneak off it's it's more like just break free just do it declare something but also you may be seeing yourself separating all right Sagittarius separating yourself from anything or anyone that brings you down that drains you that drags you so you, you're not going to be dragged anymore you're going to be doing the dragging okay like your energy, your essence, your power, your time, your love, like the full force of you, it is too valuable and too powerful to be wasted on something or someone that has no strong foundation to carry you in is that or to like like you can't be contained basically hmm and you're definitely way too valuable to be like misused or mistreated right you deserve the highest respect the highest treatment love huh interesting The Ace of Swords, double breakthrough. This shows gaining power, clarity, truth, 
okay this is also confirmation so if some of you are looking for a sign in this month or like moving like leading up into the next few weeks here Sagittarius your sign is going to show it's going to appear okay and the sign is going to show you ways and it's going to kind of like uh, support you you know when signs show up like breadcrumbs it will lead you to the, to the next thing to the next situation to the next person to the next scenario it's almost like a guide it will guide you the queen of pentacles see her as again like a, a mentor a very nurturing mentor she may also be the one um metaphorically guiding you into what is meant to happen next who you're meant to become or what steps need to um be carried out into because we see manifestation coming through strong manifestation coming through and then movement okay the tower being ejected and redirected for your protection so here being ejected but being pushed into the chariot to move in a different direction to move into a different flow excuse my puppy <laughs> she's probably excited about the the mail that's being delivered or she's confirming here for you as well if you hear her in the background let's take a look at the queen of cups wow we're not even done with your reading here so Queen of Cups, we are looking at the Page of Swords coming through. Page of Swords. Someone, someone is pursuing you, Sagittarius. Just as I said that. The Three of Swords and then like this Nine of... Yeah, someone... There's a collective group of you where someone can't let you go. Someone cannot let you go. They, they want to see you with them. And it's like they're plotting to like keep you to themselves. Yeah, there's someone here, Sagittarius, where like they cannot let you, like they can't stop thinking about you. They can't let you go. Or they have like deep, deep regret of how things were played out. And they're trying new ways that maybe they're getting like a new number. They, they have a new email. Maybe you blocked them. Because this Queen of Cups, she's very unbothered. Her energy is like, hmm, very peaceful, just enjoying her, her own space. And the Page of Swords is determined to like okay how can i get through the queen of cups maybe if i change my disguise maybe if i change up my look maybe if i get a new haircut so there's someone here it doesn't always have to be an ex it could be but maybe it's a family member maybe it's a, a recruiter like right? there's someone here that's like they're really trying every new strategy to get to you this page is really trying to see the queen like i need to get through to the queen I, need, I have a message that I'm trying to relay to the queen. So there's someone here, like they are very, very determined. Now, this could also, the energy I'm feeling, it may be reversed. This could be you, Sagittarius. Maybe you are trying to um, seek forgiveness or maybe you are trying to get through to someone that may have blocked you, okay? They have closed off communication because the queen's cup, it's not open if you noticed, it's closed. And all the other cards, the cups are open, see? They're open for discussion, for talk, for dialogue, communication, to receive. But her, hers is closed, case closed. So this may be you. This may be you for a small group of you where in, in August you're like, okay, you know what? I realized I was wrong. Maybe I'll, I'll try a new approach. I'll try to be different. Um, so there may be someone here that you are trying to right some type of wrong. For some of you, not all. Let me see. I feel like there's something else here, too. Before we get to the two of wands. I feel like there's somewhat something else. Hmm. Some of you, you're not settling for less. Okay? You're, you're keeping your head high. And you're like, nope. If it doesn't meet my expectation, if it doesn't meet, you know, my desire... You're going to keep looking. You're going to keep looking. And you won't stop until you find it. So that's good. Having expectations. Not selling for less. Right? Sticking it out. Dedicating yourself to something that you know you're worth or it's worth the wait. Speaking of worth the wait, we have the high priest. Also the high priestess in this uh, case. Hmm. For some of you, in this month, I 
again, I, I feel like if you're single or maybe if you're like newly dating or looking for new love, there are opportunities that are going to be pursuing you. You are pursuing them. They are pursuing you. And both parties, like you and them, they, they, um, they may be serious. Like they're not looking to, again, play around. They want to close the lid. Like they want to, you know, commit. For others, there's something that has to do with like commitment. You are looking for commitment. You want to commit to something. You want to commit to a new place, a new environment, a new strategy, a new job. There's, you're looking. What is that that you're looking for, Sagittarius? You may not know now, but you may experience it in the next few weeks. There's definitely somewhere here where you want to make a, a, a commitment. You want to make a promise. You vow to do something. Maybe you're signing a contract. You're committing to a new place, new keys, a new car, right? There's something here that you're doing your research because you don't want to make the wrong decision, but your heart is pulling you towards something. And you're like, okay, I'm going to make this promise. Hmm. So it's like you're dedicating yourself strongly and wholeheartedly to that. Very interesting. Let's take a look at the two of wands. We have the nine of cups. Planning. Planning. The two of wands this is showing preparing and planning. Preparation will lead to a better result or better outcome. So whatever it is that you are looking to put together, maybe it's a trip itinerary, it's a vacation, maybe you're looking to relocate, maybe you're just looking to move on. Somewhere here it's saying like, yes, prepare. Prepare, Sagittarius. These small steps are definitely going to lead to a bigger victory, a bigger turnaround for you. Some of you are tired of being where you're at and you're looking to fulfill your highest happiness. You're ready to take that leap. Remember I said moving towards the barrier, like moving, breaking through? Look, you're looking to move beyond the wall. We saw the tower here. Sometimes when you ask the universe for the sign, the sign comes, but the sign will come in an unexpected way and at a surprise time. So it's almost like be careful what you wish for with the magician's wand because you may just get it but when you get it, it may not be in your timing, but in divine timing. Okay, you'll see it come through. But you may not see it coming in the way that you expect it or in the timing that you expect it. That applies with anything. With love, with a new opportunity, a new career, a new position, new circumstances. Sometimes we look back in life and we're like, whoa, you know what? If certain events didn't play out, it wouldn't have led me into where I'm at now. But it's only until you're able to look back that you realize that. So sometimes you need to be pushed forward. Okay? Push out and push forward in, able, in, in, in order to go higher. Hmm. Let me pull one more card here. Oh, just as I said that. This one fell through too. So we have King of Swords. Oh, Two of Cups again. King of Pentacles. And we're looking at Six of Wands. Take Initiative take control. I'm also seeing a dedication, declaration, someone maybe declaring their love, confessing their love, maybe you. There's some type of announcement I, I see here of um, like an announcement or confession. De it's more declaration, like announcing something like, yes, I officially, you know, am engaged to Sagittarius or I love Sagittarius or I want to hire Sagittarius. There's something that's finally being announced, like it's official. Okay, and then we have the King of Pentacles showing commitment. So this is all about loyalty, commitment, dedication, um, being serious, okay, wanting to invest. So this, I feel like August is really about separating yourself from anything that tears you down, that brings you down, and that doesn't keep up with your high value, all right? You're not letting things holding you like hold you back anymore, Sagittarius. You've been holding on to a thin rope of hope for so long. And you're like, you know what? You're still here. You're still hanging on. But you're tired of being overlooked. You're tired of maybe being overwhelmed. You're tired of carrying people's weight and maybe their dedication and their discipline not matching up to you. 
So some things need to be put to rest and it's time for you to um, like step up, step up into like your worthiness, step up to your, your power, your success, your strength, step up to the calling and not settle. Interesting. Know that you deserve the best. All right, so I'll see you in the next uh, bonus reading, Sagittarius. Stay well and be blessed.